For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff up the man. She's as always got a new offense from a new playbook for you guys today. This is a playbook that I've had a lot of requests for. It's considered one of the more uh, trendier playbooks in Madden 22. It's the Kansas City Chiefs offense. I haven't done a full ebook on it yet or nothing like that, but I'm thinking about possibly doing it because I know there's a lot of really great formations in it. So let me know in the comments section what playbook you guys would like to see me do next. I found an amazing offense in this playbook, which is making me think that maybe I should do some more Chiefs, but I always leave it up to you guys as always. The offense itself is the pistol wing flex close. This formation is only found in the Kansas City Chiefs. It's not in any other playbook in Madden 22, and it's one of the glitchiest formations in the game. Today's video I'm going to focus on the run plays. You can see by some of the averages, although I don't think that Madden 22 on next gen tracks the amount of times that you run a play accurately because I've definitely run these plays more than it says. But this play here says I average 16 and a half. This play here I average 8 and I know I've run that more than 14 times. I've probably run that like 100 times. I love that play. This play here I average 12.4 and this play here I average 10.2. So you can see some of the explosive averages that you can get from these running plays. And that doesn't even include some of the explosive passing plays like the PA Flood, which is probably my favorite. You can see I average a whopping 36 yards of play. Woo! Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see part two of the passing plays tomorrow because there are also some very glitchy plays to be had here. So I'm going to put these in my audibles like I always do. The RPO Alert Wide Receiver screen is a glitchy play to an extent. Um, I would say it's very similar to the Halfback Zone Week though as far as how I'm going to use it, but they're both very good plays on their own. Then the Jet Pass Fake Zone, technically a pass play but it's a really good uh, version of like an end around I'm gonna show you the best times to use that you also got the fake uh, obviously they play off each other really well but ultimately my favorite play and the one I'm gonna start this video out with is going to be the speed option now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get 3% off what's always the cheapest coins on the market now when it comes to running this offense it's helpful to have a mobile quarterback but you do not need a mobile quarterback I run this with Patrick Mahomes I think he's like a 70 three speed quarterback in mutt right now so you know clearly you don't need that i run with the ravens a lot in these practice modes because i think that they i just like using their offense to be honest with you but you do not need a mobile quarterback that's not important at all because it's really all about the pitch now you can see i can flip this play with the right stick it's real simple when it comes to the reads for this play if it's a man coverage you want to run it as is if it's a zone coverage you want to flip it and run it the opposite way and the reason for that's pretty simple you got two receivers to one cornerback makes it a real easy read so all i'm going to do is when i run this just pitch it out with the lb button and you you can see the second that ball gets out there's nothing out here i mean what i get 10 15 yards like nothing so we're gonna go to the replay here i just want to show you guys some of the finer details when it comes to running option plays number one the pitch animations you get you typically get them even through contact so you can see i hold that ball to the very last second to the point where i'm essentially getting tackled and the reason for that's very simple because if i throw it too early this guy's going to change his direction and go after the running back so I'm going to hold it as long as possible. I'm going to treat myself like a blocker. I want to occupy this guy. And I promise you, you will get that pitch animation. Like I said, every single time, I'll be getting tackled when I hit that LB button. And I'll get that pitch animation out. Then, once you get that pitch animation out, look where he is when he catches the ball. There's nothing but space out here. He's 10 yards from the nearest guy. Now here, it looks like we probably have a man coverage because you can see you got kind of a man alignment, two cornerbacks over two receivers. I can easily run this the opposite way. Once again, that pitch is going to, I mean, it definitely confused Tyron Matthew as to where the ball's going. As you can see, I mean, there, I definitely didn't have the same type of clearance but it didn't matter. As you can see right here, he comes, the second I see him coming for the quarterback, I get that pitch out, it's game over. He's outside, all I have to do is basically hit the guns and out sprint the defenders. Now you also have the option to motion across a tight end. Say you want to seal that edge a little bit better, you can motion this guy across here and basically seal that edge. But you can see now it also really exposes this man coverage defense. So that's something to keep in mind. If somebody's in a heavy man coverage defense, and you want to make that motion, you're basically just going to bring across that extra defender. And now you're in a position to basically get it outside wide again. So there's really, you know, it's just the type of chess match you're playing. There, that defender didn't react very well at all, but you can see the pitch still is the play. I mean, the pitch every single time is going to make a very explosive play. We'll go ahead and we'll hopefully we'll get a zone coverage so we can seal that edge with this tight end and have even more success. Right here, like I said, now we have an even bigger blocking advantage 
based off the fact that we have that zone coverage. And you can see that pitch, I'm always gonna get that pitch out. I don't care how bad Lamar's getting blasted, that pitch is gonna get out. The second best play is probably gonna be the zone weak. Now this play here doesn't necessarily go straight for that lane, but you can see anytime there's like a gap between the defensive end and defensive tackle, this is the perfect opportunity to run this play. You can still do that motion. I still feel like that motion is going to be helpful. It'll help seal this defensive end. It'll give you an extra blocker, uh, but ultimately it's not even, you know, you don't have to use that. As you can see right here, I mean, we basically are just getting easy path up the middle. This is one of the most consistent runs in this formation for sure. As far as deciding whether to run this pitch play, which to me is the number one play in this formation, or the zone weak, which is to me like 1A and 1B, you basically just want to look for a gap here. If you have a gap between defensive end and defensive tackle, that's one indicator. But also, if the defense is spread wide, you're going to want to go with this play. If they're pinched in tight, you're going to want to try to beat them outside with the pitch. But if they're spread wide like they kind of are here, this is a perfect opportunity to just try to take it inside. As you can see, there's nothing really in here. I mean, this is just, you're going to see a lot of defense like this. I'm running against four threes, but you're going to see this a lot more in nickel packages, which is way more common. Here, once again, they're pinched tight. You know, there's no lanes. Real, real easy read. Just going to pinch this out. Like I said, take that contact, get hit and get that ball out. You can see Tyron Matthew, superstar Tyron Matthew is the only thing that saved a touchdown there. But I mean, that's like stealing. I mean, that's super easy, especially against people that are man blitzing crazy like that. Now, when it comes to wanting to run the, uh, the jet pass fake zone, I would say cover three and man coverage are the best plays. Typically you run, the only time I run this play is when I come out and there's no cornerback outside of the uh, the tight ends. I'm very selective when it comes to running this play. But ultimately, cover three is a good look. This looks like a cover three. That cornerback will drop back immediately, giving me an opportunity to turn up the field, as you can see right there. I still get close to 15 yards before Tyron Matthews saves the day once again. This is the type of look that I'm talking about right here, where there's no cornerback out here. This is kind of like no man's land. Anytime I see this in a gameplay or whatever game mode I'm playing, I will immediately go to this. If there's no cornerback out here, this is the best look because I'm going to get it to my 97 speed guy on a full sprint to the edge, basically just try to run around these tacklers and get as much as I can. That's why I averaged the most, I think, on this particular play. Once again, got that look one more time without even thinking. Anytime I see that no cornerback look, we're going right back to this and we're just going to basically sprint the second we get the ball and try to get wide. And like I said, you can get some explosive, explosive plays just as long as you follow that principle. Looks like we're getting a whole a whole bunch of them right now. So we're gonna do it one more time. Like I said, maybe we can score. It looks like we have a safety blitz in the opposite direction, which is perfect. And then, like I said, I mean, Brown here is the perfect candidate to run these plays. So that's it, that's the bid. If you guys wanna see more from this formation, like I said, a part two tomorrow with some really glitchy pass plays, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I will put that out tomorrow. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.